award-winning songstress Zahara claims she's owed millions of rands by her former record label, TS Records. Zahara says she was underpaid for her performances and the sale of her records. ENCA's Zikona Chona is following that story. Zikona, uh, good afternoon to you. So uh, first up then, as far as the story is concerned, what exactly is the artist saying? So, Jeremy, over the weekend, Zahara took to, to Instagram to say that she is ready um, to, to tell her story. This afternoon, we met with her at her home. She's saying that she wasn't paid her dues under the record label. She's saying since 2011, when she joined TS Records, they, she made way more money than she was paid. Um, she's making claims such as that uh, per performance, she was paid 10,000 rand to start off with, and then people around her started raising concerns about the amount of money that she was getting um, for performances. When she raised this to TS Records, they then um, uh, in increased her, her income by 5,000 rand, but she's saying that's still not enough. She still owed money in royalties and for those live performances. So she is planning to take the matter to court, but what she does, what she does say is that she wants to meet with TS Records before to see if they can find a way out of the situation without going to the courts. Now, the question, I guess, right now is why at this point has she decided to speak out? So Zara is saying that over the years, she, um, she, this whole saga took a huge toll on her. Um, she turned to alcohol for comfort because she felt like she had no one to talk to about her issues. Um, she's saying things such as in the music industry, you do feel isolated because you really don't know who you can talk to. You really don't know who you can raise issues to. And she came into this industry very young from the Eastern Cape, um, calling herself the village girl. So she says she was clueless about what it was due to her or how um, this industry is supposed to cheat her. She turned to alcohol as a result and now she's saying that she's been clean from alcohol for five months and she feels that it's the right time for her to come out and tell her story. She's also saying that she was scared to speak out, Jeremy, saying that she was scared that she would be blocked in terms of um, radio play and in terms of live performances. She's saying she's scared because TS record label bosses are quite influential people in the industry. So, so she thought that her, her, her career would fail. Uh, we sat down with her at her home and I just want to play this one clip where she does say that she is feeling a lot of financial stress with regards to everything that's happening around her. She's saying that she's struggling to meet her expenses at the end of the month and it shouldn't be this way because she works very hard. So, Zekona, what does the record company tell you? So we do know that Zahara did part ways with TS Records in 2017, um, but also the, the record label no, no longer has any artists. Um, they, so they gave us a spokesperson to respond on behalf of the management of the record label who say that they are waiting for Zahara to present her case to them and to give them the court papers that she's planning to take them to court and only thereafter will they be able to respond to any claims that she's made to the media as well as in those court papers so for now they're saying um, that they're, they're waiting for her to come to up to them with those claims mm, I haven't uh, I don't think we've heard the